Hi everybody, this is Jason. And today I'm going to read a story to you. It's called The Three Bears. It's an old classic. It's a great book. I used to read it to my kids too. Now there's a couple of themes in this book that we've got to talk about that are inappropriate. Number one, the girl accesses property without permission. Number two, she vandalizes. Number three, she steals. These are all things you shouldn't do. And not aside from that, she loiters in the house too. We'll talk about those as themes when we get to the story here. So here we are, title page, The Three Bears. It's a great story. All right, once upon a time, there were three bears. A great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee baby bear. Look at them in their nice picture frame there. They lived in a little house in the forest. Now, not all bears live in forests. Oh, pardon me, I messed up. Not all bears live in houses, but they generally live in forests. They had three chairs. A great big chair for the papa bear, a middle-sized chair for the mama bear, and a wee chair for the baby bear. Look at that little chair right there. I like the color of that, red, white, and blue. That's a great, that's a great chair. Upstairs, there were three beds. A great big bed for the papa bear. That's that one right there. A middle-sized bed for the mama bear, right there. And a wee little bed for the baby bear. That's it. Look, they all got their slippers right there. So when they get out of bed, they put little feet in the slippers. One morning, Mama Bear made some porridge for breakfast. Now, who wouldn't want some nice porridge right now? Porridge is healthy. You've got to keep your nutrition up. Always try to eat healthy, right? So she's making breakfast for the family. It's beautiful. She filled a great big bowl for the Papa Bear, right there. A middle-sized bowl for the Mama Bear, right there. And a wee little bowl for the Baby Bear. There it is right there. That becomes very important later in the story, by the way. But the porridge was too hot to eat, so the three bears went out for a walk in the forest. Look at that little guy there, little baby bear's going to get some butterflies. The mama there, she's looking at some, some of his flowers. And there's the papa bear walking with his walking stick. But look at that, he's wearing a fez, right? That's called a fez. He must be a shriner. It's an organization that does good for people. All right, so here's the important part right here. The same morning, a girl named Goldilocks is walking through the woods. She came to the three bears' house. She knocked on the door, and nobody called, come, but nobody called, come in. So she opened the door and went in. Let's stop right here for a minute. First of all, approaching strange houses with no real reason is very dangerous. Never approach a stranger's house unless you've got to. Number two, entering into a domicile without permission is not appropriate either. You may not be breaking and entering, but you're actually accessing a property without permission. That's what we call trespassing. She goes in. Don't do these things. Goldilocks is a very bad example in this book. She saw three chairs. There's Goldilocks. She saw three chairs. She sat in the great big chair. It was too hard. All right. Well, yes, for the big bear, Papa Bear. She went to the middle-sized chair. It was too soft. That's for the Mama Bear. And she goes to the little baby chair, and she sat on it, and she broke it. So she breaks the little baby bear's chair. I don't think that's very appropriate to you. No, that's vandalism right there. Now she spies the porridge. I am hungry, she said. Well, let's stop right there again. It's not really the bear's problem that she's hungry. She should probably take care of that herself with her own mum and dad. But that's all right. She tested the porridge. And the porridge in the big bowl was too hot. Let's stop again here. Will this girl stop at nothing? She's rampaging through the house. She breaks the chair. She goes in the house. She breaks the chair. Now she's going to try all their food. She's getting a mouth and jams all over the spoons. It's crazy. She shouldn't be doing this. The porridge in the middle-sized bowl was too cold. But lo and behold, the porridge in the wee baby bowl was just right, so she ate it up. First of all, that's not a very small bowl. If that's the size of the bears, I'd be very worried right now. Very inappropriate for her to do this. So then she goes upstairs and tries the bed. Okay, once again. Now, she shouldn't be in the house in the first place, but if you're in a stranger's house, ask yourself a question. Should I be traipsing around the house, taking a grand tour of it? Absolutely not. Number two, you don't want to go upstairs, and you definitely don't want to fall asleep and try out the beds. Because if they come home and they're angry, it's a lot harder to get out. All right, let's continue here. So she goes and tries the beds. The great big bed was too hard. That's a pretty big bed. It's like a giant sleeps in that. I don't think I'd be trying out these beds at this point. The middle-sized bed was too soft, but the wee little bed was oh so nice. So Goldilocks lay down and she went to sleep. Let's take a look here. Well, guess what happens? Now there's going to be some problems coming away. Then home from the forest and back to the house came the three bears. The great big bear, the middle-sized bear, which is the mama, and the wee little baby bear. What a cutie. He's looking there at the bugs and the flowers. The moment they stepped into the house, they saw someone 
had been there, which means she wasn't being very clean with her evidence. Humph, said a papa bear in a great big voice. I want to, say, I want to try that again. Humph, said papa bear in a great big voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair. That's my great big papa bear voice. Land sakes, said the mama bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair. And oh dear, cried the baby bear in his wee little voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair and it broken it to bits. Now that's not appropriate at all. That's the vandalism right there. She willfully broke the chair. You can call it an accident, but the problem is she willfully went into the domicile without permission. Ergo, anything that happens thereafter is an intended use. Then he looked at the table. They all looked at the table. Humph, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. I want to do that one again. Humph, someone's been tasting me porridge, he says. Look at that. I don't think I want to mess with anything that has teeth like that. What about you? Someone's been tasting my porridge too, said Mama Bear. And someone's eaten all my porridge up, said the baby bear. Here's where the little Goldilocks get a comeuppance, because all the bears are going upstairs, and up the stairs the three bears went. Thump, 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 a trot, 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 and a skippity, skip, skip. Parenthetically, that was the wee little baby bear, because he walks cute, because he's a little guy, right? The little bears are very cute. But in nature, stay away from them because very close behind is a mama bear and she'll, she'll rip you to bits if she fights it. So here we go. Humph, Papa Bear says in his great big voice. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And someone's been sleeping in my bed, said the mama bear. And oh dear, exclamation point, cried Baby Bear in his wee little voice. And someone's sleeping in my bed and she's here right now. Look at that. Exclamation point because he's excited because the evidence is right there. First of all, he's the baby bear. Comparison, baby bear, mama bear, papa bear, right? He's the baby, and he's much, much bigger than her. So if I were her, I'd be very worried, no matter how cute he is. He outweighs her probably four to one, maybe five to one. She don't stand a chance in a scuffle. Goldilocks opens her eyes, saw the three bears. Oh, said Goldilocks. She was so surprised, she jumped right on out the window and ran all the way home. Well, good riddance to Goldilocks, because she should never have been in that house in the first place. And here's the deal. I'm glad she got away. I'm glad no one was hurt. But she really needs to be more careful in life. And the good thing is, she never saw the house in the forest again. And that's good riddance to her. And that way the bears can enjoy their lifestyle without her interfering and intruding into their lives. And that's the end of the story, kids. Thank you so much for your time. This is Jason once again, and that was the three bears.